I'm Kevin Kadak. He's Jay Busby. Today's sports argument, the best NBA All-Star moments. And Jay, we usually argue a lot on this show, but I think we're sort of in agreement that it can be only one thing right here. Right, right. The, the best All-Star game moment of all time. 1992, Magic Johnson returns three months after announcing that he was stepping away from the NBA after having contracted the HIV virus. He, he was a little bit viewed with trepidation. People were, it, it was a less enlightened time. People weren't sure what he was going to be able to uh, accomplish, whether he was going to be infectious out there on the court. As it turned out, Everyone welcomed him back with open arms, starting with Isaiah Thomas. It was really one of the great moments in sports, not just in an all-star game. Yeah, you talk about the societal implications of that, and you just really can't beat that because people really were afraid to approach him. Carl Malone undercame a lot of fire for his comments, and Isaiah Thomas came up and opened the floodgates. Michael Jordan came up and greeted him. And then it was just a great basketball game. Magic Johnson drops in 25 in a West blowout. Three-pointer, yes! Oh, my! I loved it. If it wasn't Magic Johnson, let's say that didn't happen, I think it's probably got to be Michael Jordan's final game in 2003. Yeah, he jacked up a lot of shots, 9 of 27, he finished with 20, and Kevin Garnett won the MVP. But I think when it was a cap of an all-star game career, I think it was MJ. Do you agree, Jay? Well, I, I would agree that that's a heck of a game. I think that you're a little bit biased here. I think that you only picked Michael Jordan because you couldn't pick the 85 Bears in an NBA all-star game, but I'll give you that. <laughs> Who do you think would win, Ditka or Jordan? <laughs> I think that Ditka would take him in and five Dickas would take 50 Jordans. Let's move on. We're ranking the All-Star Games. Number five, the NASCAR All-Star Race. I can't figure out why they have this. Isn't every weekend an All-Star weekend in NASCAR? Yeah, it is kind of like a no scrubs race rather than an All-Star race. Number four is the Pro Bowl. The fans are into it. The networks are into it. The advertisers are into it. About the only people that aren't into it are the players themselves. Number three, the NHL All-Star Game. Pity those poor goalies. This year's result was 17 to 12. Number two, the NBA All-Star Game. We finally get to see what these guys can do without that pesky burden of playing defense. Anytime an NBA All-Star Game's less than 200 points, it's a failure. Number one, the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. It's got the most tradition, and it's still the one most worth watching. Not because of home field advantage, but because it's the only one where anybody plays defense. We want to hear from you. What was your favorite NBA All-Star moment? Hit us up on Twitter at Kevin Kadick or at Jay Busby with the hashtag KBArguments. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.